Okay, so it is now the next day, and remember all those things that I glazed that day that I was like, oh man, I have so much work to do, I gotta glaze so much. They're all gone. It looks like Justin put in all of my stuff, because usually I put my stuff right here. Bye, doggies. I'll see you later. I love you. Every now and then, Mackenzie brings uh, the dogs to the studio, and she's like, leave, leave Dante alone! He's trying to work! And I'm like, I don't know why. I fucking love dogs. <laughs> Especially one of them dogs named Opie, and I'm like, okay, well, you're not my best friend, because you have the most tarted name. <laughs> so, what I usually do to check if my kiln is open, which is not a, not a legitimate way, this is not a legitimate way you should learn to open your kiln, but the way I check the kilns open is all the heat's usually trapped at the bottom, of the kiln, right? So what I do is I take out the bottom peak hole, right? Firstly, I fill this part here, because this part has all the heat on it. I stick my finger in there. Oh yeah! Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh I hit don't you? Hey! And then I'll open it super, super carefully. I'm gonna set you down here, right? I'm gonna set you down right there. I'm gonna open it real carefully. I'm not, I'm not gonna open it real carefully at all. Oh, it's not hot at all. It's a, it's, a, it's a little hot. Ah, ah, it's hot. Oh, wait. So I was wrong for like the 1500th time. Uh, we're not gonna open that today. We might open it at the end of the day. The reason I'm so anxious to get that kiln load out is because I have three different test oils in there. I need a new high gloss clear. And so what I did is I took Ron Royce high gloss black and I just took all the oxides out of it. The problem is that uh, red iron oxide is technically uh, categorized as sort of a flux and colorant. So I didn't want to take out all the red iron oxide and all the cobalt carbonate, even though the cobalt carbonate doesn't really matter, which are the main two colorants that make black in Ron Roy's high gloss black. But I still need a good clear. So what I'm doing is I put it on a red test dial and I, oh, a brown test dial, I guess. And then I also put it on a porcelain test dial and I was like, sweet, I need to see those. So they're in there. And I'm super impatient right now. Hey, fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna open the room. Uh -huh. hot, 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 hot. These hurt really badly when I hold them. <laughs> so this is Ron Roy's high gloss black on a porcelain test dial. There is literally, ow it hurts. It hurts to hold so goddamn bad. This has no cracks in it, it's doing fine. This is it on a brown test dial, right? So there's a little bit of white in there, like it's a little milky but I'm assuming that's because of the brown test dial color. This to me looks like a pretty good clear. I don't know about high gloss clear. I kind of expect it to be transparent, to be honest, but this is as transparent as you get. What I usually do is after I'm done uh, making a clear, I'm like, cool, that's my clear, I tested my clear, I want to test a clear, I need a clear, that's a clear. Oh, clear. Oh, I clear. Oh, get me a clear. Sorry, I've been really infatuated with Irish and Scottish accents lately. But I don't want to seem racist. Put a little bit of colorant. <laughs> Mackenzie heard me making Scottish sounds and she went through the window right there and she was like, Are you okay? And I was like, I'm fine, I'm just being fucking weird. Am I doing a good accent? Comment down below. Is this a proper accent? Is it, is it a proper accent? No, I can already tell it's not a proper accent. Right, so what I usually do is I get my jar, right, and I make my clear, 300 grams of a batch, and then I go ahead and I just start adding colorants, because I don't need the clearing, I've already tested the clear, I know if it works or not based on when the test came out. The test seemed to come out fine, I might make a giant gallon batch of this. And so I wanted to test blue this time, because I was like, well, I need a blue anyway, so screw it. The problem is, the blue is still in there. It's still in there. Right, so this is actually kind of the blue that I was going for. It's actually the same blue as Melo the shirt that Melody gave me. So, ah, flip, shit's hot. But this is the blue, right? This is point, this is point three grams per every one hundredth grams. So it's point, yeah, this is point three grams of cobalt carbonate. Just imagine, that can fit in my fingernail. That's how much grams that is. This is a good blue though, I like this blue. 
Okay, so I didn't grab the other blue out. You know I'm gonna grab the other blue out, don't you? This is the other blue, and this is double the amount of cobalt carbonate in the suspension in Ron Rice High Gloss Black as it was. So this is Ron Rice High Gloss Black, the first version, without red iron oxide in it. So this is no colorants at all, right? This is 0.3 of cobalt carbonate, which is nice. It looks like the same color as my shirt almost. And this is double the amount of this. So this is 0.6 per every. So this is cra this is a crazy amount. This is dust. You can get you can get 0.6 grams of dust off your ground. That's how much cobalt. This is a minuscule amount. But I've already taken out a couple of things. So we're gonna unload this kiln. And I'm gonna show you each and everything that I come out with right now. Okay. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Firstly, this came out, right, and I don't like this too much. This is bright red from Emico, which is clearly bright red. The inside looks kind of cool. The inside looks baller, actually. It's not bad at all. The outside looks like garbage. Actually, I didn't glaze it very well, to tell you the truth. I'm going to reglaze this, most likely. This one here is a reglaze. Now, this used to look just like this, right? I don't like blue and white by itself. But when I reglazed it, it made a little halo of green at the very top. And I am so down for that. I love it a lot. I'm extremely happy with it. This is a commission piece of a white lotus tumbler. This came out good actually. I'm actually quite happy with this. It didn't come out as well as the other white lotus tumblers have in the past, but this is like, I don't hate this at all. Okay, this one came out really good actually. And this one, I don't know if you saw me glaze it, but this one I glazed in blue, right? And then reglazed itself in blue in two different angles. So this one came out really, really nice. I'm extremely happy with this one. Kinda. My only problem with this is that it didn't catch right there, which either means I'm gonna reglaze it, which is fine, because, man, eh, reglaze. Or I'm gonna have to chuck it, but I don't wanna do that, so. Is it tinging? Are you tinging? No. Oh, hey, this one came out great, too. This one came out really good as well. Oh, I'm super fucking happy with these. Ooh. I know I cussed. Leave me alone. Ooh, sexy. Oh, uh, sexy, sexy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Just look at that Tenmoku gold right there. Look, even on the inside, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so this one messed up real bad. <laughs> Look at that, that's gross. Look what happened there. Oh, destroying this. Destroying the shit out of this. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Nah. This one was just the green and the blue by itself. So this is my, my floating blue, right? Right here. It's kind of darkish on porcelain. And then this one is the green with a little bit of red on top. I like this one a lot. Well, not too much, but it's all right. This one might be one for the Patreon page. If you guys know what Patreon is, go ahead. I don't like to boast the Patreon because I feel bad for people giving me money for doing the thing I love to do. But um, it's kind of like if you're eating at a restaurant and you tip a waiter two bucks for giving you the service that you love to get anyway. It's the same thing. You give me like, but it's once per month instead of once every time you eat. So it's like $2 a month and I send you a little piece of art every now and then, depending on if you win or not. But right now there's only like eight people, so you literally have a one in eight chance of winning. And see, now this is a newfound project here. This is just one glaze. Straight one glaze. This was with the grog in it. I don't like this. This is the Navajo Red with grog in it, and I hate it. I glazed it. I know I dipped it well. I remember doing this. I even double dipped it on the top. I should not have to dip something more than once to get a non-smooth, to, to get a smooth coat. This is ridiculous. So I simply, like, listen. Hear that? That's one good coat. I shouldn't have to. So this is, I mean, this might go for a reglaze as testing, but I don't like this clay anymore. It doesn't work with one of my best glazes. I refuse to use it now. Again, another one of my teacups that straight didn't come out good because, <laughs> because of that clay. I Listen, listen, this is double coated, listen. Shouldn't make that noise. I don't like this. I don't like this clay anymore. I want to use it. This is having the same problem as this bowl that I showed you in the first place. This is almost the same glaze and everything. I simply, am, I'm not gonna use this combo anymore. This, however, this combo here on the inside is amazing, just like this one. Ah, uh, it's just not coming out good though. I'm probably gonna reglaze the whole thing blue and call it a day. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, I love that. 
Look at this. Ooh, look at that blue. Oh, what? Is that on porcelain? You know it is. Look, this is porn to me. Oh, fuck. Mm, girl. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, you want a little bit more sun exposure? You want a little bit more sunlight? Oh my god, look at that. That's sexy. Ooh, deserves a dab. Oh, mm, love it. This one actually came out nice and milky too. I'm not mad at this one at all. I like this one a lot. It's a little bit more non, it's not as glazed as well as it could have been, but um, I mean, it's still pretty, I still like it. Oh my God. Whoo! God damn, boy, look at that there. You don't even know about that right there. Look at that, boy. This is one of the porcelain bowls. The foot came out perfect, came out nice, right? It got dipped on two different sides. This looks like Randy's Red with a little bit of Temoku Gold on it. I'm not mad at it at all. I put green on the inside and I put a little bit of wax resist in there. Mmm, tell me you're mad at that. Tell me, tell me it looks ugly. Lie to me. Well, I don't know what happened here, but I like this. This is a metallic black. Here's the thing, I don't have a metallic black. So what is this? I'm gonna have to read, I'm gonna, the inside is kind of raw and rough, it's not glass-like, the bottom is, but this part's not, so I'm gonna have to reglaze this. But, I mean, this came out. I know this is the metallic green, I know it is. But I don't know what's in the, oh, is this Temoku, no, yes, no, yes, fuck. Well, I reglazed these two teacups because I was unsatisfied with them, and I either made them awesome or I messed them up, because they look bad now, I don't like them. But the slip designs came out pretty good. Like, see the slip design is still on there. I just realized what that looks like. Mmm, I'm breaking these now. And this, and this, this is my green that never behaves. It comes out fine, right? And then all of a sudden I dip it with another glaze. And actually that looks really attractive as well. But for some reason it didn't stick on certain parts. Why? I'm actually gonna re-dip this into some green and see how it goes. Some other, other green. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me for my kiln opening. I appreciate that you actually stayed for the whole video if you did. If you didn't, you're not gonna see this part anyway. You suck! Well, thank you guys for joining me so much. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Please, if you like these videos, let me know how I'm doing. Comment down below, like, and subscribe if you wanna see more. Do me a little favor, actually. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. It's a notification bell. Every time I release a new video, it'll just tell you whenever I do instead of you having to go look it up yourself. It'll just give it straight to you. Go ahead and click the button. Click the button. I have to stop doing accents on my channel. I'm sure some guy's gonna come around and be like, Oh, that's not how I talk!